Hello everyone, welcome to Caribou Tech. Today we are going to introduce our newly built 500 liters three vessel brew house system. Okay, now let me to introduce everyone by details. This one is what 500 liters mesh tank and this one is separate 500 liters launcher tank. So you have the mesh and the launcher in different tanks will permit you to have double batch per day. Okay, so the third tank is another function for kettle and whirlpool. We also have the knocking out system installed ready to use. And all this system is heated by steam. You also have that steam generator in position. All the pipelines are in position and easy for you to use on site. Okay, let's go for the details. This one is a mesh tongue. It is heated by the steam heating jacket. For this system, the platform is on the back side. It's easy for you to operate and save your floor space. Now let's go to the top side, have a look at the inside of the mesh tank. On the top side, we can see the glass manhole, easy for you to operate and see the working process through the window. And on the top side is a motor and a reducer. Here is a brace valve. And the inside, there is a agitator. Okay, we, the agitator can help you to do the meshing process very well. So this manhole is uh, the glass manhole as well. You can also monitor the working process through this window. On the top side is also the motor and the reducer. Inside for this launch tank, uh, we equip, instead of agitator, we equip the green rigger system, which is uh, created by our company, very high strong uh, structure and uh, working process is uh, very well. And inside of the tank, on the top of the tank, you can have a look at the sparging ring and also on the bottom is the sieve plate. And uh, for this green rigger system, we add an uh, auto green out device. When you turn the motor uh, backward, the green will be able to knock it out automatically. Okay, so later we will go to the front of the tank, have a look at the Vinesco. Now I'm in front of the launch tank. We can have a close look at the Vinesto. For the Vinesto, we have a small window in the middle. You can have a clear monitor of the working process through this glass. Okay, now let me open this door, have a look at the inside. For each launch tank, we have this device, we call it a green shoot, installed and is removable when you uh, finish the laundering process and having the spent grain moving out. This is the sieve plate. It is a, a high quality mill de device. On the top side is 0.8 millimeter and on the back bottom is 3 millimeter. Very easy to have the wort filtering through this plate. And uh, this device is the green rigger. And uh, so for this small device, it's very flexible. And when you uh, finish the launching process, you have the, uh, the motor uh, rotating backward. And then this device will able to have the greens, the spent green, uh, green knocking out. And then you can finish the launching process. For this system, we have a total two pumps. This one, we call it the mesh pump, and we have another pump is located over here. We call it the water pump. Okay, for uh, the meshing to the laundering process, we have the, the water pumping from this pump, go inside and coming to this direction. And uh, this part is very important, it requested by our customer. It's just on the top side of the sea plate. It can permit to have the water knocking into the launch tank and without oxygenation uh, risk. It's very convenient for you to control the quality. Uh, the launching process, we have equipped a balance tank, which is a glass material, and uh, have the pipelines, the, the water, coming from this way and go into the balance tank and then go into the pump and knock in to different directions for example the word backflow and going to the kettle process and also going to the whirlpool process all through this pump and also through this balance tank okay let's have a look at the pipelines on this area so uh, this one is a uh, word out this direction, through the, this direction, we can have the word is going to 
into different different direction one one this going to this launch tank and uh, over there is a side glass and also sample valve you can get the samples during the launching process to measure the uh, sugar degree and also for this direction is going to the whirlpool process and also there is another second outlet from the kettle tank after whirlpool process going to the pump and knocking out through the PHE. For this kettle and whirlpool tank, our customer require a different function, which is a external column. So its function is uh, very new and I'm sure some other customers, uh, maybe you, also require this function. Before warping whirlpool process, uh, you will require to uh, decrease the temperature from 100 degrees Celsius and down to 80 degrees Celsius. So with this column, you will have the wort coming through the bottom and going through this pipe and go in this column and then turn back to the uh, kettle wobble tank and we have another two ports which you can connect the glyco water coming from your glyco water tank and uh, going through this is inlet and this one is outlet will enable you to have the the worst uh, temperature cooling down to 80 degrees Celsius within 10 or 20 minutes. Very quick and very easy for you to do your uh, new recipes. The next part is a knocking out system. And we have the water all the way coming through this pipeline and going through the filter. It's a very fine filtration system before going to the plate heating exchanger to make sure uh, most of the sediment can be filtered by this device. Later, I will open this device and have, have a look inside. Okay, this one is a PHE. The uh, temperature exchanging area is around five square meter. Very high efficiency. We are enable to have the world uh, code crash to around 20 degree within half hour. Okay, after heat, heat exchanging, we are going to the, this pipeline. This one is a temperature gauge you will be able to see how many temperature you are getting for the words. And when the temperature is ready, we are uh, connecting the oxygen through this device and uh, add more oxygen into the words. This one is a side glass and this one is a last port. You will clamp the hose from this port all the way to the fermenters. And then will be the next stage of fermentation. For this system is heated by the steam generator this one is electric heating. Uh, electric power is around 36 kilowatt. So if you have uh, also have uh, another uh, power source such as propane and uh, natural gas, also can use this kind of st steam generator, but it lo will look like a different appearance. Okay, for this kettle and whirlpool tank, we also have the steam heating uh, jacket. This one is an uh, inlet. Uh, for this system, we are uh, control the steam inlet manually. You can have a look at here a lot of the gate valve, needle valve, and also the temperature gauge, which is can show you the steam pressure uh, very easily. And you can control the degree of this device to enable how many uh, steam is uh, uh, generated into this tank. And on the bottom is uh, also the traps. You will have the conditioning water knocking out and going to the drainage. Now we are on the back side of the brew house. Just now I, uh, I also said uh, for these three tanks all heated by steam jacket. And another two uh, pressure gauge is located here. And also have manual valves here to control the steam amount going into the jacket. This one is for that tank and the pressure gauge, the steam pipeline, all in position. This one is a control cabinet. We have all the electrics here, and also we have tested with the power, actually, but now uh, it's already powered off for the thief. Of course, when you have the uh, system in position, this cabinet will be hanging on the top side of the platform. So don't worry. All the uh, panels here, we use Omron brand and uh, Snady, standard brand, very high quality, and all the functions is uh, uh, customized according to customer's requirement.
Okay, there is almost everything about this system. If you want to get more information about our company, our other series system, please don't hesitate to send us email and contact us by uh, phone or by WhatsApp. And we are also very active on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, welcome to subscribe our channels and uh, our sales representative will get in touch with you for more details and also we provide uh, free consultation solutions. Okay, welcome to Caribou Tech and see you next time. Bye.